Okay, so here's a little follow-up to the video I did yesterday with that encased switch. This is your traditional blade switch for a Telecaster, three-way switch. Um, position one, and you can see that this blade, let me grab my little pointer tool here. When this rotates, this blade rotates from contact one to contact two to contact three. Well, this is your output contact, always in contact with this. So we're bridging this connection, or we're closing this circuit when we rotate here, closing that circuit and so forth. This is a little bit different than a five-way switch that you would see in a Stratocaster because when it has a slightly larger blade, which will actually go, when you're, when you're in five positions, you'll have one making contact with this, in fourth position, a bridged contact, third position, a single contact, second, a bridged contact, uh, and so forth. It, it effectively works the same way as the switch that I showed you yesterday, except for instead of two sides of a block, it's two sides of this rotating switch. So it's got this one set over here, and then the same thing going on in here. A couple things to remember on this, because you're looking at opposite sides of a switch, you'll take the two output lugs, so this lug and this lug, and they get soldered together, okay? And then this basically works the same way the other switch did, it's just you can see it. When you pick up the switch, you have to order a new one, you get it in your hand, and you can instantly look at it and see what's happening here. So this is when the neck pickup is engaged. If I flip it around, it could be the bridge. It doesn't really matter. Um, for consistency sake, let's say the neck. So this will be the neck pickup, right? But we want this one to be combined with the neck and the bridge. Well, if our neck pickup is soldered to this lug, there's not going to be anything here for it to pick sound up on. So these two are going to be soldered together with a jumper, or really what you're gonna do is just give a lot of extra lead on the pickup wire, run it through here, end it here, solder it in both places, okay? And then the same thing will happen on the other side of the switch. And you'll have to look more clearly because obviously it's sort of shadowed here. Um, you'll do the same thing with the bridge pickup so that when it's in the middle position, it's picking up uh, signal from both pickups. And then when you're in the opposite position, there is no, there'll be no signal picked up from the neck or the bridge, vice versa, right? Uh, because this rotating switch pushing out to the output will be connected with nothing. But on this side, it'll be connected to where the opposite pickup is getting its signal from. Cool. Thanks for joining me at breakfast. Later.